while I'll be doing. <clears throat> I've made a good few videos recently and the premise of the videos was doesn't seem to be get, ever getting addressed or by our opposition. Either they don't understand the premise or they're ignoring the premise. <clears throat> and there's some very pertinent parts that uh, were, were in my video, things I added in and said <clears throat> that were ignored also. There's a lot of stupid stuff being jumped on that is not addressing my videos, blah, blah, blah. So <clears throat> this video should be extremely easy to understand. There should be no problems here. It should be very easy to uh, address this video for our ball experts in the opposition side. Um, any one of them should be able to address this. I, I'm expecting hundreds of answers, okay? <clears throat> hundreds of answers. So, so it's very simple. This here. Okay, this is a tangent plane, right? A tangent plane touches a circle at one point, right? This is the zenith of the tangent plane. This is east and this is north, right? Cartesian, three-dimensional three Cartesian coordinate system. That's what, that's what they place on a tangent plane. As you can see, the zenith is pre-assumed to go to the center of a globe earth with a radius that is unmeasured. Um, so what they do is... GPS uses this, GNSS uses it. Uh, of course, anyone that uses GPS or GNSS, like aerospace, uh, shipping, you know, surveying, all these kind of people, they all use it. <clears throat> and they were all using Cartesian before it anyway, but this the, this is the ECEF system, okay? So what happens is you go from one tangent plane to the next tangent plane, to the next tangent plane, to the next tangent plane, uh, in whatever direction you go. So GPS is always referencing a tangent plane. Always, at all times. Um, all the zeniths are pre-assumed to go to the center of a globe earth with a radius of 3,959 miles as an average. Uh, a radius that has never been measured and will never be because it doesn't exist. Um, but my question is not about GPS. <clears throat> my question is not about Cartesian coordinates. It's about tangent plane. Okay, so this is my question. It's going to be very, very straightforward. There should be no reason for our, our opposition on the ball side, all these experts. There should be no reason whatsoever that I don't get hundreds and hundreds of very precise answers without any ch chaff added in, any misdirection, any questions. It's very, very simple. Just answer the question. And here it is. Please answer this question, ball believers. What is the maximum size that a tangent plane can be on your globe earth model? Please provide your answers in the comments section of this video, in nautical miles, statute miles, or kilometers. Very easy to understand. Should be no reason why you can't complete this. I'm expecting hundreds of answers. Answers in the hundreds. Please provide your answers. Thank you.